Hi, my name's Siopa, and I wanted to talk to you today about um, trustworthiness, parents and trustworthiness, and actually white lies that parents tell their kids. Well, let me preface this with, with an example. I did not grow up in a family where we celebrated um, the Easter Bunny. It just wasn't something we did in my house. In fact, we I didn't even know what the Easter Bunny was until I was in school. And people had mentioned, hey, there's an Easter Bunny. And I'm like, what? what's that? Okay. Uh, my wife, on the other hand, grew up in a home where they grew up with the Easter Bunny. And so they would sleep, wake up in the morning, go hunt for eggs, you know, and get a, an Easter dress. I mean, it was kind of this thing. And they believed that there was this bunny that would leave eggs everywhere. Okay, and the same could be said about Santa, for example. One of the big questions that, that uh, and concerns that I have in, in doing this is I don't want to rob children of a, a playful childhood, but when does the white lie become detrimental to your credibility as a parent? Okay, so you tell your child these, these things, these myths, and then you have them go to school and then they learn that it's not true from friends or whatever, and then they come back and ask you, and then, oop, the gig is up. Okay, I lied. Okay, is that okay? I don't know. My recommendation actually is to prepare your kids for things like that and actually anticipate those things by bringing it up and talking to them about, okay, this is something that we do, okay, and you're going to hear some different stories when you go to school, you know, and and then you can decide when you want to tell your child the truth. So actually in communicating with your child the truth about Santa, the truth about the Easter Bunny, those things are important to come from the parent and from you. Um, is it better for them to hear these things and then have them come to you and talk to you about these these new things that they're learning and then find out that you were not honest with them, all right? Now, I'm not saying that all children are going to grow up and, and be, you know, completely devastated that their parents lied to them, but it does beg the question of how credible are you as a parent? And the idea will eventually come up, okay, well, if my parents have not been honest about this, then is lying okay? Okay, or what else is truthful and what else is, is made up? Right. In the example with my daughter, uh, she had learned that Santa wasn't real from school when she came home. And in explaining uh, the truth about Santa with her, uh, I could tell that she was wondering why we didn't tell her the truth as parents. And that really is our job as parents is to provide uh, a worldview that is consistent and that we need to be the support system. And she comes to us, we can tell her the truth. So in looking back, I should have prepared her for that. I knew she was going to go to school. I knew other kids, you know, have different parents and different belief systems about that. And it would have been better for me to say, okay, you're going to hear these things just be aware of those things and then come talk to us and then she can learn the truth from us. One of the things that I really emphasize actually in talking about this, and it's a touchy subject, is, you know, I'm not saying don't have Santa or don't have any of those uh, things in your child's life because I think they're fantastic. The magic of childhood, that's all, you know, it's all a part of it. But what I am saying is be cautious and aware that you telling your children something to believe in and then taking it back later as they grow older isn't always a great thing. Uh, it's better for them to hear the truth from you um, as they progressively get older than for them to hear it from friends. So um, that's just a tip and a suggestion for you. Uh, you can get more information on our blog and visit Smarter Parenting for more parenting tips, skills, and ideas. And don't for forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right. Give us your thoughts, though. You tell me. What do you think? Should parents continue to tell these things and let children find out from other sources? Or do you think it's more important for parents to prepare their children and tell them the truth up front as they get older in preparation for them hearing it from other sources? I would love to know what your thoughts are. All right. Thanks. Bye.